so it's spring spring has sprung we've got through winter it's awesome september is the best month uh, but it really is a time to start thinking about sprinkling on a little bit of kind of spring summer um, vibe so lighter fabrics lighter colors etc maybe a little bit more color for some of you onto your current capsule wardrobe that hopefully you're enjoying so um I'm going to share with you a few kind of key shapes and key pieces that I think you could look out for. So if you just need a little bit of guidance in terms of good investments going forward, I've got some here for you. So let's kick off with the first one. This is a gorgeous little play suit from Watson & Watson, who are an Australian brand, Australian made, Australian designed, and do fantastic leather and trench coats. And I'll go into and I'll try and do um, a little bit of a tiki tour for you to show you a bit more of their product. They do all in one uh, jumpsuits and those of you who've been following me for a while know that I love that kind of thing it's just easy no-brainer chuck it on but it's different to a dress and I find that a lot of my clients like the idea of a play suit as well but they find that a lot of them are quite skimpy so the great thing about this is a bit more of a grown-up play suit you can actually be quite covered at the top you can zip this right the way up if you want to you can show a bit of bikini underneath whatever you like but you've actually got more coverage, although you've got your legs out, you've got more coverage here. So I will be getting my legs out when they're not so lily white. I need to just to, to, to go into this a little bit more gently, but it's such a great style because it's a little bit more, what I feel is a bit more of a grown up kind of play suit. So it's got this fantastic zip detail on it and it's in a beautiful khaki. So this shade of khaki is generally really flattering on most people. It doesn't really matter where you sit on the color wheel. Generally, this is pretty good for you, yeah? It's not too grayed off and it's not too green. The great thing that really clinched it for me with this is that this play suit is angled up the shorts. So the hem of them, much more flattering. It doesn't matter what your size, your shape, your legs, or how you feel about them. I'm telling you right now, they're gonna feel way better if you've got a hem that is more angled in your shorts. And I, that's really the only shorts I kind of live in if they're a little bit shorter like this. It's got the elasticated waistband, tick, tick, such a, such a win. And obviously, you know, you can pop underneath your bikinis, etc. I'm gonna put on my little sneaker that's a bit of a recent purchase. I can put that on with it. It sits really quite nicely. Although the green in that doesn't exactly match that green. Doesn't matter, they work together. I'll put on my sandal, put on, you know, loads of different kind of footwear. And my little Oriton bag works really nicely with it too, a bit kind of utility. Um, this Oriton handbag was so cheap, I almost feel like I stole it. It was like 50 bucks. It was ridiculous. Um, and it works with lots of my purchases here, just as a bit of a, a pattern and a bit of freshness to add to things like this. So, so the second piece is similar to what I'm wearing now, actually. I bought a couple of versions. These are only about 30 bucks. And first of all, I bought this Zara version. And it's just interesting to note in the moment, um, whilst we're talking about these, is colour. I actually haven't got that much colour here. I've actually stuck to a bit more neutrals, which is quite interesting because for winter last season, for me, I went pretty out there with quite a lot of colour. So this season for, for spring, I've just trickled on a few more kind of neutrals to kind of wear back with a lot of that colour thinking about how I'm going to then outfit some of those autumn winter um, purchases into spring summer so think about that when you're buying some new bits for most people as we go into spring and summer you'll buy more colour but if you're constantly buying colour or you're constantly buying neutrals then you're not really adding to your wardrobe that much you might be duplicating quite a lot so just think about that so talking with duplication, these are really similar. I bought this um, the pa padded shoulder t-shirt. It's kind of where the muscle tee has gone. And I bought this one from Zara, but I have to say, I don't love it. So I bought it and then I'm gonna save it by actually removing the shoulder pads because can you see how they collapse? Because they're really wadgy, yeah? So you ideally, if you wanna buy into this trend, it's actually better to go for a lighter weight shoulder pad like this H&M one. So I'll keep the shoulder pads in this one it's much better. This one I might well take out. So with the black Zara one, you're not going to notice that ridge as much, but on this one, you notice it quite a lot. So I'll, I'll probably remove them, but they are a really inexpensive update to your wardrobe to buy into. So obviously if you're an, like an, ex, you've got a really wide shoulder anyway, you might not feel that comfortable in this, but for most other body shapes, they're pretty good really. They give you that kind of sharper shoulder. So if you're a pear shape, these are really, really good because it gives you a little bit more um, 
sharpness in the shoulder to balance your bottom of body, yeah? These styles are actually quite boxy. They're generally quite short and boxy. And the reason for that is they are generally going to be worn with a high-waisted pant, yeah? So you don't need to have that much length on it. But if you haven't got the high-waisted pant, then maybe you need to go a little bit longer with your version of this so that you can actually tuck them into slightly lower waisted styles. So they're quite boxy, as I said, and they're often quite open on the arm. So the reason I like this one is that it's not so low on the underarm, so you don't see my bra as much. They might be a bit better for work, especially with male clients. But with this one, most of them, they are that bit longer. So just think about the the bra or crop top or bikini or whatever you're wearing underneath it will be visible, yeah? So they are a little bit boxy, so they're not the most flattering of shapes, but they really are a fashion shape. And that's kind of how I say to kind of shop and think. Either you want it to be really flattering or you want it to be really fashion. When it sits in the middle and doesn't really do either, it's not probably serving, you probably feel mediocre and it's probably doesn't need to be in the wardrobe. But this one is quite fashion, it's quite edgy, updates a lot of my styles and also I, I wear t-shirts, personally I wear t-shirts a lot. I don't really wear tops, they feel a bit corporate for me. So I don't mind investing in a few different versions of them because I know I'm going to wear them, I wear them to work, I wear them to the beach, I'm going to wear this with my active wear, it updates that, so I wear it everywhere. So what you can do with this is actually just tuck it over and then tuck it in if you want to, to try and just make it a little bit more flattering and a little bit less boxy. Struggling with this waistband at the moment, with like a lot of my waistbands, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, you can kind of do that kind of thing. So it just creates a little bit more shaping rather than that kind of boxiness, yeah. Um, these are a really good blank canvas as well. So they're really good for, you know, layering up bits of jewellery, etc., on them because they're obviously generally quite plain, quite solid colour. And the black are really good. You know, you can actually put on like pink diamantes and, and put them into maybe a kind of high-waisted cigarette pant or something and a slick shoe. And suddenly you've got a really going out look that's really quite powerful and edgy. So I love the fact that this is a little bit edgier. But I did worry a little bit because I'm quite sharp in the shoulder. I've got quite a broad shoulder anyway because I'm a bit more athletic. I also wanted one that was going to go with everything. And this cream is a perfect colour to go with everything. And it hasn't actually got the shoulder pad, but it's got that turn. It looks like it's a bit of a shoulder pad um, kind of finish. And it's also a little bit longer. So this is like the most versatile version that I've got of this kind of product. And then these are kind of more the, the kind of fashion versions. So the next thing, I have talked about this before, so I'm only gonna to touch on it now. It's my Gani Mesh, really super lightweight dress that I adore. So just a quick note, these wrap dresses and a mesh dress in this slightly longer kind of length, dresses with sleeves, I mean, in spring, they are the most amazing thing to wear. Again, no brainers, chuck it on, don't even really need to accessorize this. So although it's quite kind of spring, summer facing, it's not actually that skimpy. So it's perfect for spring, yeah? It's I was kind of in between sizes, so I actually went a little bit bigger, and that allows me a bit more coverage, a bit more distance to cover my, my boobs, so without the bra showing, yeah, which is awesome. Sometimes if they're a little bit skin from a bit tight, they'll come under this way, and that's not that's not what we want because then we're faffing about with it every day. Not cool. So I went slightly bigger with this one. I love the fact that it's a bright, fun pattern. So again, it's really kind of summer facing. I also love how it goes with my sneaker. And this, I mean, again, the colors don't match exactly, but they go for a maximalist like me. But I will obviously put that with my white shoe as well, which looks really dainty, really elegant when I want to look a bit more feminine. And a quick note on these um, Nike Airs. They are, the MX has been around for a long, long time. They're really good when you want to kind of nod to that kind of chunkier trend of sneaker, but you still want something that's not actually too clumpy and still quite easy to outfit. This is a great, a great, great shape because it's not too chunky around here, which a lot of the others are. It's just a bit chunky here. So it actually gives me height, which I really like as well and I need for my legs. So it's just a side note, that's a really a good one. Um, the other thing I really, really love about the two dresses I've recently bought, this is an even newer one, is that they don't need ironing. They are maximum input for, uh, sorry, maximum output for like, minimal input yeah i can just literally wash and wear wash and wear wash and wear they are throw onable and that's a word that i've kind of made up 
and I use it a lot when I'm going through workshopping sessions with my clients, throw on a ball. It's got to be throw on a ball. So nine, love, tick, tick. The other dress I've literally just bought is an H&M dress. This was 90 bucks, I think it was. It's a knitted dress. Now there's lots of knitted dresses around. I was really struggling to find the one for me because a lot of them are so skimpy. They're so, you like, you need your Spanx on, you need to like probably not eat much for a few days beforehand. And I was like, that's just not, that's not, not the way I wear my clothes. So I wanted something that was again, really throw on a ball that was just didn't have to think about it as much. And the fact this is a true knit, so it's actually a knitted purchase, a knitted product as opposed to, um, jersey that's more like a um, cut and sewn together this is actually a proper knitted dress and the beauty is that can you see all that texture in it that texture means that i'm actually a bit more concealed so those places you know that you're a little bit more conscious of through your body it's actually a really good way to almost camouflage them if you've got either pattern or texture going on because it can conceal you that little bit it's not so you know a, a solid color in a, in a um, flat fabric that shows off every lump and bump so I don't have to I always put my big ugly knickers under it still yes but they don't have to be a spanx that I can't eat or drink in they just got to give me a nice um, a invisible VPL so this is quite an athletic cutaway um, kind of style which suits me as an athletic um, so if you have got kind of, you know, that kind of slightly nicer shoulder and arm, something you can be pr pr proud of at the moment while I'm working out, I want to show that off. So it's kind of cut away quite nicely, not too skimpy. I can still wear a bra, key, but it's a really lovely shape. And then it's got more of a flare hem. So this is really quite elegant and kind of skims over my body rather than clings. The other thing, so most body shapes will look pretty good in this. Even if you're feeling you've got a little bit more tummy which a lot of my clients say they feel like they do and when I look at them I can't see anything but we've all got our areas and for a lot of people it's a lot of women especially post babies it's our tummies so this can actually skim over and then because it kicks out it's got a beautiful kind of fit and flare shape to it the other really interesting thing is when we're wearing a cream or white dress and it's a bit holy or in fact any any style that's a bit holy something you can see through as soon as we put something contrast like black underneath it becomes much more textured as opposed to if we're wearing something maybe just white underneath it or, or cream it will flatten it a little bit so um and i'll be wearing it both ways i'll photograph it and show you and that's just another note which is quite interesting i was trying to find i've got a couple of little slip dresses that are wardrobe essentials for me and i have them and i might not wear them much but i know they'll work under this the straps come across like this so they'll, they'll be hidden but I've put this little black top underneath it and that's also cut away and athletic. And because I am a bit more athletic, I know my body shape, I know what works for me. I've, I've already got the, the correct layering piece to go underneath this because I've stuck to my personal style, yeah? So the more you understand all your best bits and you show them off and you stick to your personal style, the more your wardrobe will layer up and mix and match together. So I've interpreted this knit dress the way I want to interpret it, not the clingy bodycon way that everyone else is. I found my version. So I'm ticking the trend. Yep, I feel like I'm buying into it because I wanted to, but I found my version that suits me, yeah? And I'm already thinking about how I'm going to style it for autumn winter, because I want to make sure this is a value-based purchase, not just a stylish, sexy kind of dress. So I'm already thinking, oh yeah, I look gorgeous with my boots. Um, I can't quite show you, but they will look beautiful together. And I know I'll put my fur jacket round to keep me warm. So I'm already thinking about how I'm going to actually utilize this piece going in to autumn. And this dress is as much about the fabric as it is about the shape. It's actually the fabric that actually wins it for me and that will make me wear it so much more. So think about that when you're buying these things. Do you like the fabric? Is it gonna work for you? Okay, and lastly, just touching on the square neck. So this has been a style that's been around for a while. This square neck is actually really lovely. It's really flattering on pretty much all body shapes, bar if you've got a bigger chest. It actually suits slightly smaller chests that, rather than the, the fuller chest end. And generally it comes with a bit of a puff sleeve. And sometimes they're shorter, they're shorter sleeves, so it might not be so much fabric. Totally depends on whether you like this kind of statement sleeve style. But the square neck, it's just such a nice neckline to have in there, something different than your crew and your V and your scoop, something different. And so you've probably seen, I've worn this 
quite a few times actually this uh, this white top it's just a zara one i actually bought i think last summer and i really enjoy it everything's elasticated on it and it's super easy and stretchy it's fantastic but why i'm showing it to you again is because this the top of this is very key for dresses yeah so yes they're really good in tops but also the square neck are really coming through in dresses for spring summer and again generally they're kind of quite flared in the um in the hemline which is really flattering so it might fit under here through the waist or empire line and kick out but it's just a beautiful shape and again gives you a dress or a top that's a bit more open but it also gives you the sleeve coverage again perfect for spring weather so look out for that as well if you fancy a bit of a, a, an update of um, something that's still quite practical that's a great kind of style so i hope you found my little spring tips helpful and hopefully gives you a little bit more focus when you're going out and, and searching the shops for something new rather than just buying something random if you're buying into this kind of product thinking about your fabrics thinking about your colors you're going to be completely updating your capsule and keep enjoying it every single season.